so our first substrand will be creating a document using words the second strand will be editing a document in words the fourth third strand will be saving a document in words the fourth strand will be retrieving a document in word program i hope you enjoy the lessons welcome hello and welcome once again i will be taking you through the steps of creating a word document so you can follow my mouse you can see the white arrow as i take you through the steps so first you have to come and click at the start button click once then we click on all programs if you, the word program is not located on the start menu you'll click at all programs look for the microsoft office folder so we can look we can see word 2013 we click on it and the program has loaded next thing you have to do is simply click a blank document those are the three steps of opening creating a document as you can see the word program how it looks like we can see here we have the ribbon menu these file home are called tabs inserts if you click on them we have different tools under each tab you can see once you click so these will be tools which you use once you start typing so right now we have learned the steps of opening a program creating a document using the word program step one clicking on the start button and selecting all programs step two clicking on the microsoft office and selecting microsoft word program step three clicking on the blank document now that we have learned how to create a document the next thing we have to do is start typing you can start writing a story about an animal you know as you learn the keyboard next time I will teach you how to save a document. Bye bye. Today's lesson will be about saving a document. We save a document for future use. I will also show you how to edit a document in Word. Welcome to the lesson. Today's lesson will be about saving a document in a Word program. So, as you can see i have my document here which i have finished typing so i'll show you a bit of editing okay we have to edit a document before we take it for printing so once you want to edit the first thing is selecting the text which you want to change okay so i will select the title by clicking the left button then holding it down the mouse button and dragging on the heading then I will click on the B here bolding I will click on center I will click on underline so that's the heading of my document so the thing I want to show you today is how to save so once I finish typing I will click on file tab here pointed by the mouse click on file it gives me this new menu which is written info new open save save as print share export close account options so I will click on save then it will give bring me to this area here it's telling me save us these are the locations on my computer there is one drive computer other place there is the word computer recent folders we can see these are some folders here 
so I will click on my documents folder once I click on my documents folder it will bring me to this dialog box which shows me savers libraries under documents so this is a documents library I'll come here where it is written file name and usually what picks the title of the document as the file name so I can either choose to change or continue saving under this heading okay so my file name will be saving a document in what so the next thing I have to do is click on save so once you want to know a document is saved you look at the title the title bar here on top and it will show you the file name of the document so like you can see here saving a document in word program that is the title of my document so as you can see i can continue making changes by here i'll underline i select i select the tools we have to use underline uh-huh documents folder i can underline so this is called editing okay once you're making some changes to your document it is called editing okay so i'm editing my document i can click here on the right of my text and remove the small s and put a capital letter so that is editing editing is making changes to your document to make it look to improve the look of your document so then i will save again so i will just use this icon here which saves a quick save once you've already saved a document use the quick save so that it updates my document on the changes i had made last so next thing i have to do now is just close so close once i've finished and the lesson is over thank you for listening and watching